Yes, set. All right, Post Puccini, idiot. We are back. Let's head on to chapter two, where there was a disturbance back at the uh, asylum. Let's go get this situation under control. Santa Claus is responsible for this. He's coming to town. He'll kill us all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. everybody, calm down. Santa's not. But he's making a list. He sees us when we're sleeping. He knew Zoe was awake, and now she's dead. Everyone relax. Santa doesn't want to hurt you. He brings you presents. Remember last Christmas? Well, yeah, but... And you left him cookies. Let's go back to our rooms and we'll have cookies. Yeah, cookies. Santa loves cookies. <laughs> Thank you for your assistance, Secret Jace. I'll take it from here. Wow. Zoe's murder has a patience pretty rattled. Now that everything's under control, let's search the common room. It's likely Zoe spent some time here. Cheese is definitely slid off their crackers, that's true. Oh, Zoe was awake. That is kind of cryptic if they if they mean something like that. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, I actually skipped to the chapter art. I was a little I was like, oh man, I should actually see what's in the chapter art. It's worth thinking ace. If they're hitting visitors, they'll be in the fate entries of that sign-in book. We must follow any potential leads. So let's search that trash can. Ooh. Some dude was not happy. It better be Ad Astra related. If it's not, then that's just a shame that she goes down like that. Pizza. Let's go for some pizza. Whoa, that's not good. The crumpled paper in the trash is blood on an ace. It up the matches always and the paper was scarred by a killer. Matching paper matching paper burned them in boxes. This is a strange list, merely the crazy ramblings of one of the patients. Regardless, maybe a clue. Let's have Gabriel examine the list. Yeah, it almost remind it almost makes me think that that someone was paying the crazy person or convinced a crazy person to kill. Louis LaRoe. Oh, you're back, you son of a bitch. Ace, this log says Zoe was visited this morning by Louis LaRoe, the journalist. Well, that makes sense. Mr. Lowe's been, has been Zoe's friend since before she went missing. Better inform Mr. LaRoe about the murder, Ace. Psh, he may already know about the murder. Secret Agent Ace, I've heard the terrible news. How's Jones doing? He must be a wreck. I myself am devastated. We have our condolences, Mr. LaRoe. Did anyone think he met the ordinary when he visited her this morning? No, she seemed fine. She's improved so much lately. I was sure she'd recover one day. And it ends like this, after everything she's been through? Two great days. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I have to broadcast. Once a week, a mouthwash, and I'm on the air. I trust she'll make short work of this investigation. She might make short work of you. How's Jones doing, Gabriel? He must be beside himself. He's resting, Ace. The important thing right now is that to be there for him. I can't imagine losing a loved one to such a violent crime. We must bring the killer to justice. And on that note, did you make any sense of that list Ace sent you? Well, Mir confirmed the blood type is a match for Zoe, so it's clear it was discarded by her killer. The list itself confused me at first. But Sophia and I often play crossword puzzles against each other online, and this list looks like exactly like a set of clues. Matching paper, for example, the answer is confetti. Confetti is paper used at weddings where lifelong matches are made. Get it? I saw the rest of the clues in no time, Ace. This is a page from a crossword puzzle book. And given the blood, we know that the killer enjoys crossword puzzles. They must have wiped their hands with the pages. Ah, so the killer does crosswords. Well, we're one step closer to solving our puzzle. 
I agree. So let's head back in, search Zoe's room. Yeah, I am not good at crosswords at all. Not at all. How did we miss this big, huge mirror that said, that said murderer? Uh, oh man, why can't I find anything? I find everything so quickly. Okay, what the heck? Where's the, oh, duh, the lighter's the one with the flame on it. Someone scribbled murderer across Zoe's mirror ace. Who would do such a thing? I agree. Taking a sample of that blue substance might provide an answer. Who would have left that tablet in Zoe's room? If you crack the tablet's password, ace, we'll see who it belongs to. Maybe Louie? Or are we still looking for... I think we're still looking for at least one more suspect. Let's get this blue substance to the lab. Whoever wrote murder on Zoe's mirror has some explaining to do. It doesn't look like lipstick. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look like lipstick. Oh, this has got to be uncle or something. Unlock M unlock M three. Okay. This tablet belongs to Dr. Russo Ace. So these are some of her session notes about Zoe. This is strange. Since here Dr. Russo was concerned about Zoe's treatment, Miss Kuzma is becoming increasingly agitated, refusing to take her prescribed medication. Well, that's not what Dr. Russo said before Ace. She said Zoe was improving. Let's find out why she lied. Oh, oh, unlock me, duh. Glad you guys caught that. Here's my report on the blue substance you collect up so it's murder. Someone actually wrote murder with this. Yes, we're eager to find out what it is. I think I can help. The compound is calcium hy hypochlorite, a hospital grade cleaning agent. Facilities like hospitals is a disinfectant commonly used by support staff. Oh, like an orderly. So you think Tobias Randall wrote that message, Ace? You're right, we can't deny the evidence. Mr. Randall needs to explain himself. It's a better password than password123. I'm just freshening up after that uproar in the common room security chains. Everyone's on edge with the murder on the loose. Speaking of which, how do you explain writing murder across Zoe's mirror? Wait, how did you know that was me? All right, I wrote that, but it's true. Zoe was nothing but a cold-blooded killer. When we're familiar with her record, the judge ruled that she was under extreme psychological duress and wasn't responsible for her actions. Well, that's what all the quacks say, but murder is murder, no matter what you call it. My little brother got killed by one of these maniacs, and the guy never went to jail. It's diminished responsibility, they called it. What about justice for my brother? Oh, brother. Zoe deserved to be in jail. It's no wonder she was chummy with that Wilcox woman, another notorious murderer. Zoe was friends with Will Cox's back. Oh, what? I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about her. I can't say I'm looking forward to seeing Rosamund and Will Cox again, Ace. 
that woman kidnapped me. She did. How do you doubt Zoe was chummy with the serial killer? But let's hear what Wilcock has to say. Look at that smug look on her face. Nice. Look at that smug look. I don't think it's her, but man. It's a shame it took a murder investigator for you to come visit me, Secret Agent Ace. Have you missed me, Officer Hayes? Yeah, we're not here to reminisce. Tell us, is it true you and Zoe Kuzuma were friends? Zoe well, was the only around here I could get along with. I mean, have you seen the rest of these loons? We chat for hours while I drank my decaf coffee. And were you out chatting with Zoe in the courtyard this morning? I wasn't even awake. I'm hardly out of bed before lunchtime. We can go back to bed now. Secret Agent Ace knows where to find you. Ooh. Yeah, she's she is very, very attractive. She's attractive too. She's a good age to be a uh Ad Astra member. I'm just gonna say that. Doctor Russo, you claim Zoe was recovering, but your session notes suggest otherwise. I'd like you to return my tablet to Secret Agent So those notes are confidential, but I suppose there's no harm in explaining them to you. Miss Kuzuma was improving, become stronger and more well balanced. Too strong for her own good, in fact. Zoe began refusing treatment, claiming I was keeping her overly sedated. Treating Zoe's psychological trauma was complex to her age and age. It wasn't like solving my morning crossword puzzle. So your solution was prescribing more drugs? I assure you, the doses I prescribed were mild. Those sedatives were no more harmful than my mouthwash or my allergy cream. Still, a patient accusing you of over-prescribing must have been inconvenient. If Zoe was well enough to take her complaints further... Hey, that's pure speculation. No, I suggest you let me do my job, and I wish you success in yours. Alright, Ace, let's review what we know. Uh-oh. Oh, brother. Gabriel, you're obviously not, not helping very well. Yeah, we know, we know, Jones. Relax, relax. We got this, Jones. We got this. I'm gonna go grab some stars. I'll be right back. This is Machines88. Over and out.